Welcome to Trending Places. Today we will take you through Erbil Citadel, Iraq. Despite the fact that the so-called Islamic State has moved to within 100 miles of the city's boundaries, Erbil is one of Iraqi Kurdistan's safest cities. Erbil is noted for its modern malls and ancient landmarks, and the Arab Council of Tourism named it the Arab Tourism Capital for 2014. Erbil Citadel, which was founded over 6,000 years ago, is regarded to be one of the world's oldest continually inhabited locations. The citadel is bordered by a lower town that developed into the present city of Erbil and is positioned atop an archaeological tell rising roughly 98 feet above the plain. It was a major neo-Assyrian metropolis, particularly during the reign of King Ashurbanipal 669-627 BC. In one of the most famous wars of antiquity, Alexander the Great fought the Persian king Darius III in the plains of Erbil in 331 BC. The city was home to great poets, historians, and scholars during the Middle Ages, and later functioned as the Ottoman Empire's cultural and administrative hub. Erbil, Iraq's Kurdistan region's capital, is still very much a vibrant city today. The ancient citadel structures, on the other hand, have suffered from decades of civil strife, with many still lacking electricity, basic drainage, and sanitary systems. However, recent events in Iraq have provided an opportunity for the citadel to be preserved and repaired. The High Commission for Erbil Citadel Revitalization HCECR, was founded in 2007, and the citadel was added to Iraq's tentative list for UNESCO World Heritage Inclusion in 2010, after more than $13 million in public monies was allocated for its preservation. Since then, UNESCO and a number of other international organizations have worked with HCECR to develop a comprehensive preservation and rehabilitation plan for the Citadel. The repair of several residences, the drafting of a site management plan, and the establishment of buffer zones in the lower town are among HCECRS accomplishments. In 2014, the textile museum reopened. Erbil Citadel was put on the World Monuments Watch in 2000, 2002, and 2004 to raise awareness of the site's critical need for protection. World Monuments Fund WMF began two new projects in 2019 in collaboration with HCECR as part of a master plan to repopulate the citadel with new activities. The restoration of the Hammam and the restoration of the Heritage Building Complex in preparation for the possible installation of a Children's Interpretation Center. The Heritage Building Complex was restored in late 2020, and work on the ancient Hammam is still underway. Following the completion of preservation work, the Institut Francais du Proche Orient s office is now housed at the restored Chalabi House. In 2013, systematic archaeological excavations at the citadel began, and the Erbil Citadel was designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2014. The citadel, which is now open to the public, has become a favorite tourist site for both Iraqis and visitors from other parts of the country. In terms of safety, it's comparable to going throughout Europe. You may want to learn more about Erbil now that you know it is a completely safe destination to visit and that Kurdish people are extraordinarily friendly and welcoming. Hope you liked the video. 
We have more than 150 videos on trending places. Do like and subscribe. Keep watching.